physical for you guys, man, you know. Ain't no magic tricks or nothing. Ain't no, no fuckery, no foolery going on, you know. Let you be the judge. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. Right, all right, boy Trigger Man, back in the lab. And today, what we have here. Today, what we got, we're doing the Vivor versus the a and I F-160. Out of all the budget guns I've sprayed, all the different budget guns, it's come down to these two. These two, they're neck and neck. I think the Vivo is a little over. It might got it by a little bit, but we're gonna see today. What we're gonna do, we're gonna spray this bumper, bumper, and a fender. They both go the same color for a Honda Accord. It's a nice looking blue. I forget the, forget the code on it, nice looking blue. But I'm gonna use one dedicated gun for one panel and one dedicated gun for the other panel. And we're gonna do sealer, base, and clear through that same gun, only to that panel. So it'll be an even race, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use the same canister of, of paint, same canister of clear, and then we're gonna see, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if you got Vivor or a and I. Vivor, a and I. Let's get it. Boop. All right, all right, let's get it. Let's get it. And in this corner, standing at two pounds, with a light satin finish, we have the Vivor, undefeated champion. This boy here got several knockouts. First round knockout, first round draft pick. This boy here is the shit. 22 PSI, two turns out on the fluid. Okay, just so you see, everything live, everything live. I ain't doing no editing. Take that sucker right off, and I put the A and I F one sixty on there. Straight into action. There's no no editing, no foolery, no fuckery, no nothing. Real deal, real deal. Holy field here, man. Let me see what I had this piece PSI at. What I had it at. What I had it at. Oh yeah, on this knob here, on that fluid knob, see right there I'm showing you? I had to etch, I etched that, I made a mark on it because it has no lines on there. So I have a little, um, what's the little tool? I engrave all my guns with my initials with it. It's like a little engraving tool. And I engraved the little line on there so that I will know how many turns out because the gun doesn't have that. 22 PSI. Fan, there's a the fan, wide open wide open and in this corner standing at a pound and a half possibly I don't know the A&I F 160 F 160 Italian made I believe this is Italian made so we got Italy versus China you know the Vivo is China we already know Vivo is China everybody talking junk cheap Chinese made the V Voice China. And we got Italy here. I'm taking all bets. Who you betting on? I'm the bookie. Who you betting on? Italy or China? We know because of that um they don't even know if you could say that word on here. That virus, you know, that bug, that that um that beer virus. Everybody down on China. But boy, China, boy, China coming with it. Boy, I'm telling you, with that Vivo, Italy, I don't know. I know Italy making some good pasta, some little pizza, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, shoes, designer shoes, Gucci, all that, you know what I'm saying? All right, now we're going with the base. 22 PSI, same 22 PSI. Two turns out, cutting in the fender. So we cutting them in, going doing all the trim, everything behind it. You see, I just kicked the damn thing. All right, and in this corner we got China. 
China laying it on, China laying it on. Big wide fan, big wide fan. Look at the fan. Come on, China. China ain't playing. This gun was made post um, virus, Heineken virus. So they really had to bring it. They know they messed up with that virus. So they really coming with it with these spray guns, man. They know they messed up with that virus, so they had to come clean. Now you see, same canister, same canister, right off the canister, right into the other gun, to the A&I. And I. You go straight from China to Italy in less than a split second. That's what you call fast traveling there, man. We traveling real fast. Goddamn Jedi. Pew! Yeah, man. Same settings from the sealer to the base, same gun settings all the way around. I personally like both of them, you know. I like both of them. That's why I held on to this one here, man. All them little cheap guns I sprayed, all them little, you know, budget guns. That's why I have for my soul, most all of my soul, except this one, this one in the Vivo. But um, yeah, I sold those guns to my prepper. Sold one to a friend of mine, his prepper. And it's like, you know, that's it, man. I can't hold on to all these guns. But this one here, yeah, I like this one. I like this A&I. You know, when you first spray a gun, it's like, you know, when that gun is doing what you want it to do, fits in your hand the way it fit I mean everything is just right it's, you know it you know what I mean sometimes you pick up another gun you spraying with it and it's, it's kind of doing what it's supposed to do and it's it's flowing all right but you just know like something about this gun just don't feel right you know whether it's the trigger whether it's how it fits in your hand and they're basically all gonna do the same thing but you're looking for that, you want, want that gun is just right for you. It's made for you, you know? It fits you like a glove. It was sent to you from the man above. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Trigger man, man, what are you doing all that rapping and, and rhyming and stuff and carrying on, man? Boy, you sound like you're grooving, man. Well, you had some vodka or something? God damn, Trigger. Yeah, this is the matchup here, man. A lot of people have been waiting for this one, Trigger, man. Yeah, that goddamn Chinese, Chinese Vivor gun versus the A&I. Yeah, I, be, I seen in your comments, man. A lot of people wanted to see this matchup. Yeah, they want to see what's going on with this one. Now, this is going to be worth watching here, brother. Using the same canister of paint, same everything. Yeah, now this is a fair matchup, yeah. It don't get no, it don't get no clearer than this, man. This is gonna tell us what's really going on, you know? Yeah, Trigger. For myself, man, I'm Team A&I. and i a and i f 160 all day. That other gun made by those people, I don't, man, I don't, I'm not with it, man. Those people had me locked in the house for three years. I couldn't go out. I couldn't walk my dog. I couldn't take my kid to soccer practice. I couldn't go, I can go get cat food, cat litter. Man, because of those people that made that V-Vor gun, I'm Team A&I. Let's go, man. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, so right now, I'm going ahead and knocking down all the panels, both panels, complete with a little 1,000. Let's give them a scuff over. Knock down any little nibs that's in there. See, that's a sheet of 1,000. And, um, yeah, I just want to go ahead and make it as, as flat as possible as even as possible less dirt you know one panel is not going to get more treatment than the other they both get the same amount of TLC tender loving care you dig so yeah and hey, remember after you do this here always wipe with your tech rag always Entire panel, wipe everything. Tack rag, tack rag. Don't be afraid of the tack rag. Some people message me asking me, oh, should not use a tack rag between this and tack. Man, use a tack rag. Tack rag is to remove dirt. I don't 
don't know what you heard from anywhere else, but Trigger Man say you the tech rag. You know what I mean? You the tech rag. And when you get out the shower, you the tech rag. Wipe off under your arms with the tech rag, man. Tech rag get dirt off. All right, here we go. Final coat. Final coat. Same 22 PSI. Same two turns out. And I said, always give a scuff before your last coat on darker colors, on blues, you know, your reds, your oranges, different, you know, anything except silver, silver or light gold. See, taking off that view war, going right back to that A and I. Oop, got a little thinner in there. Got a little thinner in there. Straight to the A and I. Well, you can't tell me this even. This ain't an even matchup, man. This is even. Final coat here, same setting, same gun settings the whole time until we get to the clear. Sealer, base, drop coat, everything, same, same gun settings. But yeah, that's the only thing with this here A and I gun, man. It didn't come with a little notch on there to let you know where you're turning. So I got creative with that. I said I have my little engraving tool. Just engrave a little line. So now you can get it that kind of stuff man you want that stuff dialed in that's what you got to do you got to get creative man could use a marker but then you know one gun clean with some thinner or some gun cleaner and that's that's gone so engrave it all right now we're doing with the clear we down to the clear and clear with the vivor we're going 30 psi as every video I've done from the beginning, from my first initial uh, review with this gun, first time ever spraying it, I sprayed it at 30, and it worked out perfect. So that's where we're at, 30 PSI. And two turns out on the fluid. Okay, there we go. Same canister, same canister. We're swapping it out, swapping it out. Take a little piss right quick. Take a little wee wee. Here we go. Give him a little burp. Burp that baby a little bit. Let him hiccup. Get the fan on there. 32 PSI on the clear. 32 PSI on the clear. And we're at two and a half turns out on this here. Two and a half turns out. Look at that. I mean, it put down a beautiful finish, man. Like I said, these two guns here, man, they neck and neck. The only thing, for some reason, man, is like the Vivor. I don't know. I like it a little bit better. I mean, it is faster. The gun is faster. The Vivor is definitely faster than this gun. You know, so if you are a fast painter, you like to move fast, Vivo would probably be the way to go. You know, again, they both do an outstanding job. The Vivo is just a little faster. But I'd say they almost put down the same finish. But if you like to go you know, a tad bit slower, it's not. this isn't a slow gun by any means. But if you like to go a tad bit slower and focus on what you're doing and just kind of carve that paint on there, and watch it go on, but still moving at a good speed, then A and I is good. But if you like to just pull that trigger and blast and go, and not even be looking at it, V4, man, V4. 30 PSI, 30 PSI. It don't never change with this gun. Don't never change. And this is that same Pro Spray, Amtec Clear, high solids that I use. Every job, most of the jobs I spray, unless it's an overall or something, you know, super, super, super duper, this is the same clear. Okay. Looked like he was spraying a little bottom heavy on that last coat there. That's why I looked at the gun like, there's something dirty, something sticking in here. I haven't taken this gun apart and cleaned it since I had it, man. You gotta know I've been spraying with that Vivo for 
almost two months now month and a half almost two months I haven't even taken a cap off and cleaned it so he might be a little sticky but he's still spraying okay see that a and i man that a and i does good she's sweet she's sweet she's sweet hey so also what i'm gonna do on this video i had another little bumper job right after this that i still use the same clear on for that, that um, car salesman guy, you know, the auction guy that we do some cars for, who wants all his cheap stuff. He just wants one coat of clear. And it's just, you know how that stuff is. I'm auction guys, man. Used car salesman. So I just went ahead and tied that video into this one. Instead of making a separate video with just a bumper. You know, I did them both at the same time. So, yeah, I just tied that in. So that'll, that'll blend right in with this video here. And it was quick, man. You know, that used car guy, he's so cheap. Oh, cheap sucker, man. Any of you guys out there sell used cars, man? Why y'all so cheap, man? El Cheapo. You did. Yeah, yeah, so here we go with this one here, man. I believe this paint code is P-A-U, I think it was. I'll pick up the can in a few minutes over there. But yeah, so I sprayed this one right out in the shop. Sprayed it right out in the shop, man. Next to that damn hearse over there. See that black hearse? Y'all know I hate them hearse. And this one here, I did with my LPH. Again, it's out in the shop. Not too much overspray comes out of that LPH 400. I say it again, that's my first love. That's my baby. So we're gonna hit this sucker quick, man. This sucker gonna be one, two, three. One, two, three. Y'all know I get that coverage. First coat, first coat, first coat. First coat. I ain't letting off the gas. I ain't letting off. First coat. First coat. Ain't none of that. Oh, give it a little, give it a light. Give it a light dust coat a little mist and let it sit and you might get fish eye or something nah heavy heavy look at her come on man don't tell me ain't nothing wrong with that put your first coat real light and mist it yeah miss me with that <laughs> that what you miss <laughs> miss me with that yeah do them a little blend fading them up a little bit see no paint no paint up near that tape no paint na da 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 na da 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 see right around there that's where that paint stopping we don't want no mismatch we don't want no mismatch and then what i do i still go ahead and take it on across the other side of the bumper no paint no paint up there keep that paint low and i still go ahead and take them on across the other side you know what I'm saying? Just to give them old even, even color across the back. You did. Then what we do, we we'll go ahead and tack rag them, get them right. And we're going to come back and clear them right back to back, man. Ain't no waiting and we're not going to flash. Use car salesman, he don't get flash time. He don't get nothing. <clears throat> he don't get nada. Get what he paid for. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You see everything with this bumper here? It's live, live footage, man. Ain't no edit. I didn't stop nothing. Look at that, look at that hearse. Look at that hearse. Bow, 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 bow. X, put the cross up, man. Well, y'all know I don't like them hearse, man. I don't like them. P-A-U. Yeah, see, that's the code. P-A-U. I said right on to, I didn't even clean out the gun, man. I ain't even clean out the gun. Watch some of the color come up in there. It's just one, two, one, two, you know. It wasn't no editing, it wasn't no gun cleaning, it wasn't no nothing, man. This is just, and it's perfectly fine, you know. It's not like nothing, nothing rigged up. Two, 22, 22 PSI. Two out, two turns out. Two turns out. I think I stopped it and pulled it out again another half a turn. 
I think I, yeah, I think this is it. And half a turn. Yeah, 2.5. 2.5. 2.5 turns out on the fluid on the LPH 400, 22 PSI. 1.4 tip. Boy, this gun here, I can't miss with this gun, boy. This is my baby. I say, I always say, I spray with this gun blindfolded, man. Look at the speed. It got some speed with it. I'm just talking about LPH 400 slow. Man, boy, you slow. <laughs> LPH 400 ain't slow. Boy, this gun here got motion, boy. Yeah, that LPH hit different. Mm -hmm. That LPH hit different, man. The LPH. Love this gun here so much, but I said I got an, I got another brand new one still sitting in the box. That's why they still charging a lot for these guns, man. Cause they still this this is it's the shiznit. <laughs> the LPH 400 is the shiznit. Don't sleep on it. Do not sleep on it. Do not sleep on it. But that's what we looking like, man. That's what we looking like. With a one two three, man. That was like eight minute, a uh, eight minute job right there. Huh? Yeah, that what we looking like. That what we looking like. What you gonna do, trigger? What you gonna do, trigger? Go ahead and dab on them. Pop. All right, all right. That what they looking like out in the sun. So this very good finish. Very good. And then this is the Vivor. Let me change the change the angle a little bit. See if that uh, you see it any better. Same thing with the bumper. Let me get let me move the bumper over a little bit. I'm just trying to keep everything equal for you guys, man. You know, ain't no magic tricks or nothing. Ain't no no fuckery, no foolery going on. You be the judge. So yeah, that's what we're looking like, man, out in the sun. And this other car over here, this car here I did, I'm just gonna add all this in the same video, man, because it ain't even worth doing a whole video on a damn bumper. But this is that um the used car dealer. I'm gonna tell you got a used car dealer. If you guys been watching for a minute, you know that they had a used car dealer we were dealing with. And they just want like cheapy cheapy. Cheapy cheapy fast stuff, so And that there was just um, one quarter clear, just cheap, you know what I'm saying? No big deal there. But um, that's about it, man. Catch you guys in the next one.